before. I want to talk about strikers uh, very quickly because uh, Jermaine Defoe looks as though he could get his chance. No Andy Carroll, no Wayne Rooney, of course. Uh, can he lead the line by himself? Can you see that happening? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of pressure on him to do so. If he does well on his own up front for his country, maybe that might help him with Spurs as well because they prefer a bigger man up front. Can he do it on his own tomorrow? He can do it against Moldova because... <laughs> hope, well, it, it, and why, why I, I say that? Not, 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 be, not because, not because of, of uh, uh, Moldova is so poor, but it, they will defend deeply. So it means England have to get players into the top third and will be able to get players into the top third to support him. And Jermaine Defoe is a good box player. When the mm. ball comes in and around the box, he'll twist and turn and get a shot away. Mm. He's not such a good lone striker when England play a counter-attacking game mm. because he gets isolated, he's not a good hold-up player or not particularly good hold-up player and that's where he doesn't play well, so well for Tottenham. That's why they want Adi, the fans want Adi Bayor in the sure, team because that's what sure. he's good at. But against the weaker sides when England are pressing the, pressing the ball and have most of the ball and play the game in the opposition's half, Jermaine Defoe will be a good box player. 18 mm. goals last season off the bench, 17 goals in 49 appearances for England, never finished a game, never finished in 90 mm. minutes for England. Why do you think he's so underrated when he's obviously such a good goal poacher? Well, he seems to have stuttered to some degree everywhere, hasn't he? In, in terms of you know consistent run. Absolutely. He seems to have struggled with, with everywhere he's been to get a full, consistent run. So I think, I think if, if, he, if Jermaine Defoe looked back at his career, mm. when I saw him as a young player at, at uh, Charlton, and then he went to West Ham, mm. and then he went on loan to, to, Bournemouth. to Bournemouth and scored 10 goals in 10 games, Broke or when he first 10 games, it? he then went back to West Ham. I thought he was the complete centre forward. What's gone wrong for him, in your opinion? I think at, w at one stage in his career, and I, I'm sure he would probably look back at it and say he, he would agree, he got lazy. Really? He stopped doing the things that made him such a good player. He, he wanted to then become just a goal scorer. Yeah. And once you become a goal, just a goal scorer, mm. you lose the other attributes. But see, I, 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 I contend slightly with that, only in so much as I saw a goal he scored against Arsenal, outside the box, created it out of nothing. Mm. I think it was in one of the highest scoring games. It might have been a 4-4. Four, mm. four. I saw a goal he scored in Katowice for England mm. against Poland. Again, tight game out of nothing. Mm. I, I, he added that to his game. And I remember after the 2005... He season, had it in his game. And he, he then lost some of it. When, when, you, if, when he was playing for West Ham as a, as a kid, and when he got into their team, mm. and that year, first year when I think they, they got relegated, but he mm. scored a load of goals, yes. he was picking balls up on the halfway line, twisting and turning, running past, like Michael Owen did yeah, for his yeah. goal against Argentina, scoring goals like that. He was scoring goals running into the box with yeah. little tappings. He could score and do anything on the field. He could go into wide areas and run at people and get crosses in for other people. He, he was the all-round centre forward. And there's another one that, that was like that, and that was Darren Bent. I yes. used to go and watch him play for Ipswich. Because mm. Ipswich played a certain style of football, and it was a good passing game, Darren Bent was a wonderful footballer as a youngster. He then went to Charlton, and Alan Kerbishley said to him, just run in behind, you've got pace, run in behind. We'll play on the counter-attack, we'll keep sticking. And he lost his, his ability yeah. to, to, to link up with others. And that's, that's what I think Jermaine Defoe did at some point. He's still an excellent player, don't get me wrong, but I don't think he's quite fulfilled his potential.